Life was pretty good for Salva. But until one day, his whole life changed. And that class is how you say hello in Arabic. Good job! Go, 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 go! Move it, move it, move it! Move it! Day after day, he walked and walked. His goal, keep walking east. And when he got tired, he slept. <gasps> Wait, they all left me. Here we have another girl named Nia. She is also from South Sudan. She collects water for her family every day. Sava has finally found his uncle. Sava had just made a brand new friend. His name was Mario. Soon after they became friends, a tragic event occurred. Sadly, Salva's friend was soon eaten by a man-eating lion. After Mario was killed, they kept walking. Soon after they were walking, they met this Nuer tribe of people, and they attacked them and killed Salva's uncle. Put the gun down! He then came to a refugee camp and found that there was a rumor spreading that people were going to go to America. Excited that he was on the board and assigned to Rochester, New York, he packed his things and got ready to go. While in New York, he found a new family. He started raising funds to help an aware tribe build a school and a well for clean drinking water. Thank you, stranger. You're welcome, little girl. What's your name? My name's Nio. What's yours? I'm Salva. I am Salva. That's not exactly the most exciting way to end a book, but the short ending definitely doesn't represent the high quality and great read that the book truly is. To learn more about the exciting adventures of Salva, read Linda Sue Park's Long Walk to Water.